Welcome back to the Bible Stories channel, where we delve into the captivating narratives and mysteries of the scriptures. Today we embark on a journey into the enigmatic world of the Nephilim, a topic shrouded in ancient lore and biblical intrigue. Join us as we explore the fascinating tale of these legendary beings and their pivotal role in the narrative of Noah's Ark. The story of the Nephilim offers a window into the cosmic struggle between good and evil, highlighting the consequences of moral decay and divine judgment. As we unravel this ancient mystery, we invite you to engage with us by subscribing to our channel, leaving a like, and sharing this video with your church group, family, and friends. Let's uncover the truths hidden within the pages of Scripture and discover the timeless lessons that resonate with us today. In Genesis 6, we encounter a remarkable account of the Nephilim, beings whose origins have sparked debate and speculation among scholars for centuries. These mysterious figures are described as the offspring of the sons of God and human women, possessing extraordinary strength and wielding a profound influence on the moral landscape of their time. The Nephilim's presence on earth became synonymous with wickedness and violence, prompting God's decision to cleanse the world through the Great Flood. Their story serves as a cautionary tale, illustrating the dire consequences of moral corruption and rebellion against divine order. It's hard to believe, but there existed a creature so immense and powerful that not even Noah's enormous ark could accommodate it. Who could be so mighty and vast as to be excluded by God himself? This revelation could completely alter your understanding of the flood narrative and Noah's ark. Today, we will explore the identity of this creature and why it was the lone entity not spared during God's judgment. Many of us are familiar with the flood story and Noah's Ark as a refuge from the destruction of a wicked humanity. However, few are aware of the concealed truth within this tale, the Nephilim, enigmatic beings who neither boarded the Ark nor survived the flood, the malevolence wrought by the Nephilim was the catalyst for God's agonizing decision to cleanse humanity. According to biblical accounts, the Nephilim were the progeny of fallen angels who cohabited with human women during Noah's era, resulting in the birth of formidable and wicked superhumans. The sons of God were angels who defied God, by assuming human form and engaging in relationships with women they found attractive. This narrative is detailed in Genesis chapter 6. These sons of God rebelled against God, leaving their heavenly abode to interact with human women. The unnatural offspring of these unions were not ordinary beings. They possessed exceptional strength, were shrouded in mystery, and were characterized by wickedness. Genesis chapter 6 continues by stating that the offspring of these unions became legendary figures of old, renowned for their exceptional qualities. The Lord observed the immense wickedness prevailing among humanity on the earth, where every inclination of their hearts was continually evil. The world was saturated with violence caused by the Nephilim. Consequently, God informed Noah of his decision to bring an end to all people, as the earth was overrun with violence due to their actions. God resolved to destroy both humanity and the earth itself, casting a shadow of evil and wrath upon all creation because of the Nephilim, transforming the world into a place of pervasive violence. As the Nephilim began to exert control over humanity, leading it into rapid moral and ethical decay, God determined that enough was enough and resolved to annihilate humanity. However, alongside the necessity of human destruction, God recognized the need to preserve all the blameless animals he had created. To accomplish this, God chose a righteous human representative, Noah who stood apart from the wickedness prevailing among humanity. Noah played a crucial role in bridging the transition between the old and new eras, before and after the flood. Unlike his contemporaries, Noah chose a path of righteousness instead of succumbing to wickedness. 
After selecting Noah, God instructed him to construct an ark and revealed his plan to bring about the world's destruction through a flood. Noah's task was to safeguard his family and the animals entrusted to him by God. The Lord then instructed Noah to enter the ark along with his entire family, emphasizing that Noah had been found righteous in his generation. Not everyone grasped the significance of God's invitation to Noah and his family to seek refuge in the ark. God specifically invited Noah and his family into the ark, which comprised Noah, his wife, his three sons, and their wives. This act symbolized God directing Noah to undertake an unprecedented action, entering the ark for protection from the impending flood. It's worth noting that the construction of the ark spanned 120 years, a period that could have potentially influenced Noah's or his family's behavior negatively. God explicitly excluded the Nephilim from entering the ark, viewing them as accountable for the widespread corruption and evil prevalent in the world during that era. Noah received God's command with confusion, but chose to trust and follow the instructions faithfully. Over the course of 120 years, as Noah diligently built the ark, the Nephilim gradually realized they were not included in God's plan. This raised doubts about their survival during the impending flood. As the rain was about to commence, animals of every species entered the ark as instructed by God. Subsequently, Noah, his wife, his sons, and daughters-in-law entered the ark, and God sealed the door behind them. All animals entered in pairs exactly as commanded, and the Lord secured the ark himself. When God called Noah to enter the ark and shut the door, it symbolized the end of the opportunity for repentance and entry into safety. The Bible recounts that everyone outside the ark perished in the flood. The rising waters covered the mountains, annihilating every living creature on dry land, birds, livestock, wild animals, and mankind alike. Only Noah and those with him inside the ark survived. By choosing not to enter the ark, the Nephilim met their end, along with all the wicked of the earth. The decision to exclude them from the ark proved justified, and despite their extinction, their legends endured. In later accounts, Moses mentioned the Nephilim when Israelite spies explored the promised land for forty days. Some speculate that the spies exaggerated the descriptions of the giants, descendants of the Nephilim, likening the Israelites to grasshoppers in their sight. Among the spies, Joshua and Caleb provided a faithful report, while the other ten succumbed to fear and disbelief. God punished the unbelieving generation by making them wander in the wilderness of Sinai for forty years until they perished, leaving Joshua and Caleb to lead the next generation into inheriting the promised land. The story of the Nephilim, mentioned in Genesis 6-4 and Numbers 13-33, did not survive the flood during Noah's time. Some scholars debate their exact identity with interpretations ranging from fallen angels to descendants of Seth. The term Nephilim appears twice in the Bible, and its origins and nature remain subjects of speculation and discussion. The account of the Nephilim may have been embellished or imagined by spies and unbelieving Israelites, despite witnessing miraculous events like the victory over the Egyptian army at the Red Sea. This uncertainty adds to the mystery surrounding the Nephilim and their significance in biblical history. The narrative of Noah's Ark symbolizes hope and divine salvation amid judgment. When Noah, his family, and pairs of animals entered the Ark as instructed by God, the door was sealed by the Lord, signifying the finality of God's decision. After this closure, there was no opportunity for repentance and entry into the Ark. The floodwaters then engulfed the earth, wiping out all life outside the ark. Humans, animals, birds, and every living creature that breathed. Although the Nephilim did not enter the ark and perished with the rest of the wicked, their legacy and tales persisted. Moses later referenced the Nephilim when Israelite spies scouted the promised land, where their description may have been exaggerated. 
Joshua and Caleb, among the spies, provided a faithful report while others succumbed to fear and disbelief, facing consequences for their lack of faith. In conclusion, the story of Noah's Ark highlights the consequences of sin and God's justice, serving as a poignant reminder within biblical narratives. The mysteries surrounding the Nephilim continue to inspire debate and reflection, inviting diverse interpretations and insights into ancient biblical lore. It is possible that the spies exaggerated their descriptions of giants, believed to be descendants of the Nephilim, likening the Israelites to grasshoppers in their sight. Among the spies, Joshua and Caleb provided a truthful report, unlike the other ten who were filled with fear and disbelief. As a consequence, God punished the unbelieving generation by causing them to wander in the wilderness of Sinai for forty years until they perished, with the exception of Joshua and Caleb. Eventually, the next generation inherited the promised land. The story of the Nephilim, mentioned in Genesis 6-4 and Numbers 13-33, did not survive the flood during Noah's time. Scholars debate their true identity, suggesting interpretations ranging from fallen angels to descendants of Seth. The term Nephilim is mentioned twice in the Bible, and its meaning and origin remain subjects of speculation and scholarly discussion. Please feel free to share your thoughts on who the Nephilim might have been and your reasons for holding this perspective. This exchange of ideas allows us to learn from one another. This story serves as a reminder of the dire consequences of sin and highlights God's justice. Noah's Ark symbolizes hope and deliverance in the face of divine judgment. When Noah, his family, and pairs of animals obeyed God's instructions and entered the Ark, the Lord sealed the door, signifying the finality of God's decision. After the Ark was sealed, there was no opportunity for repentance or entry. The floodwaters then covered the earth, extinguishing all life outside the Ark, humans, animals, birds, and every living creature. Although the Nephilim did not seek refuge in the ark and perished with the other wicked, their legends endured. Moses later mentioned the Nephilim when Israelite spies surveyed the promised land, possibly embellishing their description. Joshua and Caleb provided an honest report among the spies. Unlike their fearful and unbelieving companions who faced consequences for their lack of faith, in summary, the story of Noah's Ark illustrates the consequences of sin and the manifestation of God's justice, serving as a poignant lesson within biblical narratives. The mystery surrounding the Nephilim continues to inspire discussion and reflection, inviting diverse interpretations and insights into ancient biblical lore. As we conclude our exploration of the Nephilim and their role in biblical history, we invite you to continue this journey of discovery with us on the Bible Stories channel. By subscribing, leaving a like, and sharing this video with your community, you not only support our mission to illuminate the richness of Scripture, but also contribute to a deeper understanding of God's timeless truths. Together, let us embark on a quest to unravel the mysteries of the Bible and uncover the profound lessons embedded within its narratives. Join our community of seekers and scholars as we delve into the depths of Scripture, seeking wisdom, inspiration, and spiritual enlightenment. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, may the stories of the Bible continue to inspire and guide us on our journey of faith. God bless.